Apple has revolutionized the personal electronics, telecommunications, computer, and media industries over the last 15 years with a series of blockbuster products that provide unique, designer, integrated customer experiences. Its mind-blowing strategy keeps people driving crazy for Apple's products. If you love Apple's products and want to know about its success and how people got bitten by the Apple, then watch this video till the end to know everything of that. Apple has aided in the acceleration of industry boundary blurring and positioned itself in such a way that it has significant bargaining power over consumers and industry players, with outstanding performance results. The brand was created in 1976 by three students looking for an easy-to-use computer. Steve Jobs, Ron Wayne, and Steve Wozniak. The logo was greatly inspired by the mathematician Isaac Newton. Apple quickly entered the stock market and sales skyrocketed after Steve Jobs' Super Bowl presentation in 1984. Fun fact, Steve Jobs will have leave the company in 1993 due to Macintosh sales decrease. After that, he will create two companies, Next and Pixar. In 1997, Apple offers to buy Next, allowing Steve Jobs to be back at Apple, and launch the refined iMac. 2001 is the year of the Mac OS X operating system and Apple Store release. Then the first iPhone will follow, the iTunes Store and many innovations. The first smartphone will see the light in 2007, the iPhone, and then in 2010, the iPad. With a market value of $600 billion in mid-October 2012, Apple is the most valuable listed company, having accumulated the most cash and liquid reserves of any listed company. And it consistently achieves net margins of more than 20% in industries where most competitors have single-digit margins. The late Steve Jobs is widely regarded as the chief architect of the business model and value system that led to this exceptional performance. With Jobs' death in October 2011, many wondered whether Apple's magic would last or fade away. According to my research, the spell will last at least in the medium term. This is due not only to clear and consistent strategic choices that have served to institutionalize the Apple way, but also to Apple's pursuit of a strategy that is both uncommon and extremely difficult for competitors to imitate. Apple's ability to balance intense operational efficiency, in fact, the highest efficiency levels in its peer group, with outstanding serial innovation and addictive product design, both of which command premium pricing and redefine markets, is a key component of its strategy. Let us try to understand aspirations, a very common human characteristic. Aspirations begin the moment we begin to understand and retain information. For a five-year-old, it could be a colorful toy from Hamleys. For a teenager, it could be a gadget for the latest fashion. For a young adult, it could be the desire to own the latest Ducati Panigale V2, and so on. We're never satisfied and always aspire, no matter what stage of life we're in. Every day, our ambitions drive us and motivate us to do what we do. Some work hard for it, some don't, but we all want it, and aspirations is what Apple thrives on. Apple as a brand promotes sophistication as an aspirational value, a higher status symbol. Let's look at a very basic aspect of Apple, their logo. It's straightforward, clean, sophisticated, and to the point. Is there any other way to interpret it when you look at it? That is the design philosophy of Apple. Every Apple product has a sophisticated appearance that gives it a luxurious feel and makes a person think, that is something I want. It's visually appealing with clean designs and the user experience is simple and welcoming. It's simple, sophisticated, and easy to use. It makes sense. Consider another example. If you've ever purchased an iPhone, you'll know that its packaging is unquestionably the most aesthetically pleasing. Have you also noticed how the box lid does not open all at once, but rather slowly and gradually slides out at its own pace, building anticipation for when the box would finally be opened and you could finally hold that phone in your hands? Aspirations! They want you to be interested in the product. Apple's marketing strategy is excellent. It's no surprise they can sell those brand new phones at those prices every year. Rather than offering several iPhone models with a variety of different functions, as Nokia or Sony Ericsson do, Apple offers one main iPhone model that's regularly updated. When Jobs returned to Apple in 1997, he terminated two-thirds of development projects because he believed they lacked the potential to deliver game-changing products. Jobs declared in the first management meeting following his return, which he attended in shorts and sneakers and stubble, that Apple was in trouble because its product no longer had sex. Also, the simplicity of the design and features of Apple's products. The designs are streamlined and limited in number, with only a few features that buyers will use. 
Making these difficult decisions of what to focus on and which features to include from hundreds of potential features, Apple becomes both aligned with its customers' usage patterns, increasing value for the customer, and decreasing production costs through the simplicity in design and feature rationalization. Apple's organizational design is flat with no bureaucracy. According to Jobs, Apple is organized like a startup. One person is in charge of iPhone OS software, another is in charge of Mac hardware, another is in charge of iPhone hardware engineering, another is in charge of global marketing, and yet another is in charge of operations. Apple retains control over the functions that are important, design and innovation while outsourcing the functions that can be provided more efficiently by others. Apple, like other aspects of its strategy, has ignored popular advice that companies should locate their R&D facilities around the world, near their main markets, and engage in global learning transfer. Rather than dispersing its operations across the globe, innovation occurs in a single location, the magical cauldron at one infinity loop in California. By hiring the best and co-locating them on Apple's campus, Apple achieves extraordinary results while spending a fraction of its competitors' innovation budgets. At the same time, it's recognized as the most innovative company. Apple is regarded as a technology company, and anything else would appear absurd. But it would also be absurd to claim that its goals are similar to those of other technology companies. Their business may involve transistors and resistors, but this is only incidental to them. Technology is the enemy, a source of distraction and confusion. In an ideal world, no one cares about RAM or even realizes they're using a computer. They are simply drawing, reading, or conversing. This may appear idealistic, but consider how much it clarifies. It's why they're obsessed with making devices that are thin, light, and straightforward. Ports, bezels, and even buttons were removed. It also prefers certain devices over others. Because, from their perspective, each device competes in the same category. A significant number of Apple fans and customers believe the company has shifted, and that they're now obsessed with making devices thinner at any cost. But this has always been the goal, it's just now becoming technically feasible. And while their products may currently overlap with competitors, make no mistake, they will remove what they see as an unnecessary distraction as soon as it's possible. And as it becomes easier to do so, they will appear less and less like a technology company. When a company introduces a new product to the market, the marketing department usually reveals details and information about the new product. The reason for this is to tell customers everything they need to know about a product to get them excited and build anticipation. Apple, on the other hand, takes a new and unique approach to creating excitement by withholding information about new products as they tease it out. This is why one of Apple's best marketing strategies is to create mystery around product launches. It's a clever approach because it makes the target audience curious, encouraging them to search for more information and share everything they discover about the product. Apple has a community of loyal customers. For more than a decade, the brand has worked hard to cultivate a global community of devoted users, customers, and fans. Apple's marketing strategies include making customers want to be a part of that community because it's considered cool. Apple wisely capitalized on the universality of that self-perception, leading its customers to believe that the brand understands and is similar to them. Even small brands can create a community of devoted users and customers. The first step in creating a strong and engaged user community is to define your company's brand values and personality. Apple does substantial product placement, which is also an integral part of Apple marketing. The company has a connection in Hollywood. Apple admitted in federal court that it relies heavily on product placement. According to Apple's SVP of Global Marketing, Phil Schiller, Apple employees collaborate closely with Hollywood on so-called product placement to ensure that its gadgets appear in movies and television shows. It's smart for the company because the cost is less than the hardware itself, and giving it away for free can save a lot of money on advertising, television, and film budgets, while putting the products in front of millions of people. Apple is one of the world's leading trillion dollar brands. What is the key to its success? It's advertising and unique selling strategy. It has always positioned itself in the premium market and markets to high-end customers. Many brands are still perplexed as to how Apple has such devoted customers. The reason is its ingenious marketing strategies and unique design. With this, we come to the end of today's video. We hope you understood the video and enjoyed it. We'll be back soon with a new video. Until then, stay tuned and keep supporting us. See you guys in the next one.